unfortunate incident when any life is lost. It doesn't matter the circumstances surrounding the loss of the life. Therefore, my explanation here should not be seen as an excuse, a justification, or a validation of the unfortunate incident. It should be seen as purely an explanation, a clarification, and a sincere attempt at providing the facts as I was given. The facts at my disposal is to the fact that this incident happened yesterday at about 9 a.m. The officer or the deceased who was later identified to be a member of the Civil Defense Corps was said to be driving along with some members of his family, precisely the wife, and then he was said to have violated traffic regulations. He was subsequently contravened by two traffic warden personnel. And I want you to note the fact that this contravention took place, was carried out by traffic warden personnel. That description should be underlined. They are not conventional police officers. Traffic warden are not conventional, traffic warden personnel are not conventional police officers. And that's why they identify with their yellow top. They don't bear arms either. On contravention, I was told that he drove himself personally to Nyanya police station. He walked down of the car, out of the car and they took him to the charge room and began to ask him questions, simple preliminary questions. It was in that process that he suddenly slumped. They rushed him to hospital where he was eventually confirmed dead. I was also told that he was never in the full uniform of the civil defense as has been variously reported. However, he was wearing the pants, or rather the, the trousers of the civil defense, but he wasn't wearing the top. And if you understand that implication, it means if you are seated in the car and you're driving and you are not wearing the top, it is almost impossible for anybody to identify you as a uniformed personnel. 